Hi everyone. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to add text to a curved object. As you can see here on my screen, I have a one inch diameter cylinder that is five inches in height. So before we can start adding text to this cylinder, or the curved portion of this cylinder, we have to talk about work planes first. So we're going to talk a lot here about the X, Y, and Z axis. The X, Y, and Z axis can be split up into three different work planes, which we can make visible on our cylinder. We can then select one of those work planes to create our new sketch on or to put our text on. So we're going to come over here to the origin section of our browser and we're just going to drop that down and you'll see I have my YZ plane, my XZ plane, my XY plane, and then each axis here. I can make these visible by right clicking them and going down and selecting visibility. That will turn each of them on. So as you can see here, I have all of my planes visible. And what I'm going to want to do is to keep my XY plane in order to uh, put some text on it and get rid of the other two planes because they won't be needed for this. So I'm going to go ahead and right click the YZ plane and take visibility off and do the same thing with the XZ plane. All right, now I have my one XY plane here that's selected and I want to create a new sketch on it. In order to do that, I have to come up to the plane option, click the plane option, come down to where my work plane is, click it, and it's going to allow me to drag it to the front or to the back of my object. I want my text on the front, so I'm going to bring it out to the front half an inch so that it's tangent to the curve. That just means that the plane is touching the outer edge of the curve. So I'm going to come down and select OK. And as you can see, I have my plane. Now, I have my plane, so I need to create a new sketch on it. So I'm going to select that front plane. I'm going to right click on it and select new sketch. I'm going to come up to my text box or text option, just like we did when we created text on a flat surface, click on the plane and put in my text, Mr. Warren. And we all know I work at Pine Grove Middle. So there's my text. I'll go ahead and center it and then click OK. All right, so here's my text. Mr. Warren, Pine Grove, I'm ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and finish sketch. All right, now that I've finished my sketch, I'm ready to actually put this text onto the object. So in order to do that, we're going to use the emboss function. The emboss function allows me to uh, do a couple different things. First of all, I can uh, either emboss it, which means to, to extrude from the object, or it'll be sort of bumpy and rough, or I can engrave it, meaning my text will be inserted into my cylinder. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and select Profile and click on my text. That's my profile. Then I'm going to select Engrave. Okay, And I want to wrap it to the face. This is what's going to allow me to wrap the text around the cylinder. So select Wrap to Face and then select the cylinder. Okay, Once you've selected the cylinder, you're good to go. And we can now say OK and it will lay in my text. I can come back up here now and turn visibility off on each of these different planes and as you can see here I have my engraved text. Now you might find that uh, your text gets engraved either backwards or on the back side of your object so you just need to make sure that you're on the front side of the object and you're really putting the text where you want it. If you have these troubles I'd be happy to help in class. You kind of just have to keep playing with it uh, until you get the text where you want. I hope this video is helpful and I will see you in class.